Hello! So today we'll be making an 8-bit adder and an 8-bit subtractor using two 4-bit ripple carry adders. So first of all, in Vivado, you need to create a file, name it, and then you're supposed to specify some sources. So the first source we'll add is a design source, and you can add sources right here. And then you should have a text editor after you name the source. And at the top of the text editor, there should be a time scale that indicates that there is one nanosecond per lap. And so our first module should be our half adder. We have our input A, B, output C, and output S. Here's our SOAR gate with output S, input A and B, our AND gate with output C, input A, B. We have our end module for the half adder. Our next adder should be the full adder. We have input A, B, C in, and output S and C out. We have some wires right here. And we call our half adder, which was up here. And then we map the ports. This is the method of mapping by name. So we map the input A with input A in the half adder. And then here we have our OR gate. We have our output C out and then our input carry generate generate and carry propagate. And now we have our end module for the full adder. Same idea for this ripple carry. We have our inputs, we have our outputs, but this time we have our vectors, also known as buses. This is from 0 to 3, which is 4 bits. 0 to 3, 0 to 3. We have our wires. This time we call our full adder, which is up here. And we map the ports, this time, by order. So as you can see, A0, A1, A2, A3, same class to B. We have our C in. We have our C C out 0, C out 1, C out 2, which is right here, and then the S's, C out 0, 1, 2, so that they're, they can be linked between the full adders, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and we have our C out. We have our N carry 4, ripple carry 4. Next up should be the module for the adder 8, 8-bit eight adder. And so we have the input C in, input, this is 8 bits, A, input 8 bit, B, output 8 bit, S, output C out. We have wire C out 3, and then we call ripple carry 4 from our previous, and then we map the ports. Or we, we don't map ports, but we create instances like RC40 and RC41. And so we have the ports here. So the C in, A, B, S, and the C out 3, the wire here. And then we have our wire out, acts as an input now. And we have the most significant bits right here, seven or four to seven. We have our least significant, zero to three, and then we have our output, C out. Then we have the end module for adder eight. And so next up and lastly should be our subtractor. So we have our input B in, input zero to seven A, which is eight bit, eight bit, Input 0 to 7B, output 0 to 7 difference, output B out. We have our wire, this should be 8 bits. We have our SOAR gate, and there should be 8 SOAR gates right here, as you can see, each with ports that are mapped in order for E, 0 to 7. B, 0 to 7, and B in for all of them. And here you can see the E, 0, E1, E2, E3, 
and so on. That sh should be the output, and uh, these are the inputs. And then we have our adder 8, which is calling the um, design or the module before that. And then we have the ports right here, which has B in, output or input 0 to 7, and then input E, and then output difference 8 bit, and output B out. We have N modules for subtractor 8. So after all these modules, you can put it in one design source or you can put in multiple design sources here. But I find it easier to just put it all in one design source. You can also use the include function, but because this was created in virtual lab, the include source or the include function doesn't work properly because probably there aren't directories in virtual lab anyways so after you have all these um, modules you would have to create a schematic by running rtl analysis schematic right here and you should get something like this i won't be expanding all because it's not really visible but Overall, it should look something like this. Maybe I can make it bigger. Yeah, so overall, it should look like this. As you can see, right, we, right here, we have our SOAR gates from our subtractor. And we have our inputs, A, B, B, N. We have our output, E, right here. And then input A, B, C in. We have our add eight right here from, I believe, it's one of the modules. It's in one of the modules. Oh yeah, so there is the RC40 right here. The add eight from adder eight. So the add eight is from adder eight. And then we have our full adder right here, which is this right here. There are more full adders. And then we have our RC41. That is from our ripple carry. And then all those are connected and it should have a B out and a difference of eight bits. Right here you can see that the least significant bit and the most significant bit are combined. And so after this, you will need to create a design source, or I mean a simulation source. And that would um, produce a timing diagram. The simulation source is actually for our test bench. So again, you would have to add source, this time a simulation source, and you would have a text editor, editor like this. Again, there's a time scale at the top, and then we have our module test bench right here. As you can see, there are some registers and some wires. We have our I here, integer I, declare for the loop, upcoming loop. And we have our adder here, we're calling our design source. And we have the ports. We're calling our subtractor design source, and we have the ports with um, registers and wires from here. We have our initial begin, and we have our display. Here comes our for loop, and it iterates for 10 hexadecimals. 
we have our begin a b at zero sub one random of our test case the end for the for loop and an end for the initial we have task right here we have a delay of one nanosecond and our if statement right here it, it would display at our tests and here are the bits for a b sum and carry and then we have our end for the if and then we have our else the subtractor one so we have the display and the second display with the bits for a b difference borrow and for that and task in general and then end module for this whole test bench so to this point you would need to run simulation right here and then you should get this right here And see here are the hexadecimals those are the outputs it's eight bits right here here are the nanoseconds we have our inputs here our sum and our difference carry borrow and so today we learned how to create an 8-bit adder and an 8-bit subtractor using two 4-bit ripple carry adders and within the the ripple carry adder you would have your half adder and your full adder and your ripple carry orbit adder and so that's it for today thank you for watching